Morning guys, in the TT today. Did I tell you I fit the Icon 7100 in here? Anyway, more on that later. I've got some posts to collect. Nice lady just gave me a ticket. Wonder what's in here. Excellent. Antenna bracket for the Icon 705. So this has got a better, more low profile way of fitting um, a PL259 antenna uh, to the Icon. Anyway, back to the ranch. Right, I'm back. Such a nice day again today. So the plan today, guys, is to do some mobile operation from the car. Um, I can show you the Icom 7100 that I've got installed in there, and we can see, you know, check across the hand bands and see what we can find. Um, we just need to find a good location, similar to that location I was doing the QRP stuff. Hopefully I can find an, a road that is near there because that was a really good spot. And then we can see what we can get. I've only got a CB antenna actually in the car or on the car at the moment. Um, I'm hoping I can tune that to some of the other bands using that little um, Banggood ATU. And yeah, it's annoying because I have actually got some of the Ampro whips and I'll probably do another video about those, but they're not here. And as always, we'll have to work with what we've got. So I've got a thermos flask full of tea. I've got my little camping stove if I might need it. And also got my bracket from my phone so I can use that for filming. More and more I'm using the phone to film these days because the cameras are so good on these things now. I've got all the essential radio bits in that backpack as well. Right, I've only just got in the car. This is it up here. I used to come up here a lot when I actually lived in uh, in Harlow over the back of here. Yeah, that's good. Right, so here's the situation. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the antenna. It looks pretty ridiculous on the top of a TT. I'm not gonna lie, it does get some weird looks. Question is, can we use that CB antenna, I'm thinking on 15 meters, and try and make some contacts? Obviously it's designed for 27 megahertz for the CB band, um, and not 21, but it's not miles off. I reckon that little ATU100 tuner will actually do that. Let's find out. So I'll show you the radio setup. It's basically under here. So it's got loads of ventilation, don't worry. <laughs> Um, it's actually fine. I've been running this for quite a long time and it's it's actually uh, absolutely fine. So in the HF port, I've got my antenna, um, which is just like a kind of boot lip mount. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and then I'm basically connected on directly to the battery there via you know the ICOM cable with the fuses and everything else. It actually has one of these EMC filters, which are really good. Um, that comes with the radio. I'm tempted to try that on other radios as well because this 7100 always seems really clean. Now, because you've got the remote head on this radio, that lead goes off to there, and then, and then obviously in the front, it fits lovely in that little gap there. And you've got your mic, and that head unit has got a speaker in it, so you know you don't have to run any extra cables or anything else. It's just one cable from the main radio unit to that little head unit. Antenna wise, it's just this little diamond um, lip mount. It's very, very small, low profile. Um, you know, probably not a good idea to have a massive antenna on there while driving, but I generally use this kind of part up, so it's, it's okay. Anyway, let's get the tuner out. Been having some weird issues with the um, power supply on this, so it's got a built in battery. Sometimes you turn it on and it doesn't actually turn on, um, and then you kind of have to like sort of cycle it. It is a bit weird. And that's meant to be fully charged as well. There you go, it's coming on now. Right, so I've got the tuner connected. That's the patch lead going into the tuner and then out to the antenna. So then I'll, I'll be able to reach that tuner from the front so I'll be able to control it. I've had to plug in the power supply because this tuner just wasn't turning on. Anyway, let's try and tune it. Let's find a clear frequency. FM, and then we'll just key up. See what happens on the tuner. It's actually doing it. Done it, 1.64. Radio 60 Alpha Norway Tango. Mexico 6 Juliet Kilo Alpha Mobile. Uh, Rocky, who is the mobile? Yeah, Mexico 6 Juliet Kilo Alpha QSL. Roger, Mike 6, uh, Japan Kilo Alpha Mobile, you're 5 and 9. Yeah, you're about 10 over this way, about 10 over this way, name's Andy. Thanks, 73s. 73, Radio 60 Alpha nice. Norway Tango. And that, guys, is how you cut over a pileup on a CB antenna as well. So his call sign's R60ANT. I think that's like a club um, call sign, but it's Russia, basically. Russia. It's pretty cool, isn't it? There's a few stations about today on 15. It's not bad. Can't hear any stateside yet, though. There we go. Bye-bye. 
Ah, missed him. Not very good. Thank you for the 5-9. You're about 5-7 here in the state of New Hampshire. Name here is Ken. Kilo Echo November. They're popping up now. I might just start shouting CQ, actually. Mexico 6, Juliet, Kilo, Alpha, Mobile. From November 4, Whiskey, Fox, Trot, United. Very good day to you. My name is Mary Bravo, Alpha, Romeo, Romeo, Yankee. I'm in the state of North Carolina, just south of the Virginia border. <laughs> hey, well, it's <laughs> this nice guy's talking about bears. Yeah. That tune has just tuned this antenna to 20 metres as well, which is pretty cool. And 18 megahertz. Mexico 6, Juliet Kilo, Alpha Mobile. That's a big signal. There you go. The Fred Meister with a big signal. How you doing, Fred? Looks like this is where the action is. I've just started to go back because I'm getting, getting bored now. Um, but <laughs> I just got a local station. Yeah, this, so this guy's local. It's only five miles up the road. I'm pretty sure that the American station that's working in... Oh, yeah. Here we go. I'm going to go up, carry on going up here. Quick break there, Matt. Um, did he say he could hear me from M6JKA? Okay, to, uh, uh, just stand by a minute, I've got the whiskey zero. Um, no, he didn't, Andy, but if you just stand by for a minute, just, uh, I'll, I'll just see if, you know, if I speak to another uh, US station, we'll just see if, are you going to uh, just stand the frequency for a minute? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be at five minutes, I'll just come up the top of the hill. Okay, we'll just stay there, Andy, I'll just see the next, uh, with the next, uh, the next station can hear you there, so but let's, let's see what we've got there, so... Okay, uh, this is Gold Alpha Bravo. Listening stateside again. Okay, got two very loud stations. I'll work you both, sir. Don't worry, no, no, no problem at all. The November two. Would you like to go ahead first of all? Yeah, cheers. Mike 6, Juliet Kilo Alpha. Mexico 6, Juliet Kilo Alpha. Do you copy me over there? Uh, anything heard, uh, Eric? Yeah, surprisingly no. Uh, if he's there <laughs> with you in the UK or England, he is. I mean, usually mobile stations can get up pretty well. I can hear you. Normally, I should be able to hear the, uh, the mobile station. Unfortunately, nothing at all. Okay, I right, just stand by a minute, Eric. Yeah, he's only on 10 watts, unfortunately, because he's limited by his uh, uh, by his license condition. So, unfortunately, he, he, he can't use a lot of power. Okay, sorry about that, Andy. It didn't, didn't work, I'm afraid. Yeah, no worries, no worries. I'm also tuned up. I've tuned up a, um, a CB antenna as well, so it's probably a little bit of loss there as well. No worries, no worries. Thanks for the experiment, though. Um, I'll try a long wire next. But, um, yeah, nice one. Thanks a lot. Uh, from M6JK, back to you there, Matt. Thanks. Yeah, no problem, Andy. It's always worth a go. Always worth a go. Okay, no problem. 
That's the spirit of ham radio right there, guys. The big stations helping out the little stations. I love that. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good to have that situation happen, actually, which might not happen, you know, that often um, when you're sort of out and you're out and about doing portable work. To have a big station running massive power and a big antenna to beam across to the States and ask them if they can work the low power station. That's what it's all about. And actually, I didn't put it in because I stopped recording, but the, the station on the other end was saying, oh, I'm really surprised I couldn't hear him. I'm not going to do an American accent, guys. Yeah, he was saying he's really into QRP, and um, yeah, he was surprised he couldn't hear me, but obviously, you know, I wasn't in a great position. I'd moved from the really good location. I was amongst houses by that point as well, um, which is a bit of a shame. And also, I'm tuned, I've tuned up, effectively, a CB antenna, so a bit of power is probably getting wasted in the tuner. As I said, I need to get the long wire out and just stick it across the trees. I've got an idea for that, so I think I'm going to try that next up there. What's funny about this is the first attempt when I went out portable was the one that I had the most luck and um, when I didn't really know what I was doing I just <laughs> kind of went out and just strung an antenna up into the into the trees. Amazing and I was you know talking talking to Americans and then I, since then I've kind of scaled things back to a point where you need a bit of luck but that's what it's all about it's all about testing stuff and and trying things out anyway guys hope you've enjoyed this one don't forget to check out um, our discord i'll leave the link below leave comments likes and all that stuff subscribe i'll catch you in the next one